And now from the other side of the aisle, former U.S. Senator from Alabama, Doug Jones. He served as the U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Alabama under President Clinton. Senator Jones, very good to see you again. I pro think you probably just heard from Governor Hutchinson that he feels very strongly that it is now up to the Justice Department, up to the FD FBI, to explain why they conducted this search at former President Trump's home. Yeah, and you know, look, I think everybody would love to see that. Uh, the one thing that, uh, and I would like to see that. Yeah, I think everybody would. The one thing that I would disagree with uh, Governor Hutchison on is the fact that this is only the the affidavit. Uh, the affidavit is not public. Only the execution of the search warrant, which is not the evidence that was gathered to give in, to put in front of a judge, that is the what's under seal. That's the most important piece of the search warrant. That is under seal. That's the compilation of evidence that went together to show a federal judge, an independent judge, that probable cause existed to believe that a crime had been committed, a crime had been committed, and that evidence of that crime was concealed on that property. I'd love to hear an explanation. I'd like to see one. But I also think the public does not want to see any consequential investigation like this jeopardized. And the Justice Department's going to have to make a, another very serious decision as to whether or not the making public of the affidavit would, in fact, compromise the investigation going forward. And I, I trust them to make the right call. Do you think that's a decision they've already made, or do you think they're weighing that right now? You know, I, I think that they're, they are inclined to keep it uh, under seal. That is the default per, uh, position of the Department of Justice. Circumstances can change, uh, and, and different things could happen to they, that would... Uh, cause them to change their mind. Uh, uh, pre President Trump's lawyers may go into court and seek the unsealing of that uh, affidavit. Uh, President Trump's lawyers should have a copy of the warrant itself and the inventory of what was seized. If there is a desire to make that public, they can do that part of it themselves. We'll see how, how this goes. I think there'll be a constant evaluation in the Department of Justice as we go forward. It's my understanding that that warrant was shown to former President Trump's lawyers when they showed up uh, yesterday at Mar-a-Lago while this search was taking place. But, but Senator Jones, what about the, the point that this is such a serious thing, a serious matter, to go into the home and spend several hours going through the things uh, that belong to the former, that, that are there where the former president lives, um, and 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 to to Governor Hutchinson's point that it's it that the credibility of the Justice Department is on the line that people you know from both political parties are saying we want to know what's going on. Sure, absolutely. And and look, I, I don't think there is any question that the Attorney General of the under, uh, of the United States understands that better than anyone. Uh, and all of those that are with him in his staff understand that. Uh, and But they've got to make those decisions. And I do think this is a, a different uh, case, obviously. I do think that there is uh, much more that should and needs to become public if it will not in any way jeopardize the investigation. Again, Judy, I think people want to see an independent uh, Justice Department that is going to make the decisions consistent with the rule of law. That's what they've been doing. All along, they have been doing, you haven't seen a bunch of leaks coming out of the Justice Department. They've been doing their work. I've been telling people to be patient. They're going to do their work. They're going to continue to do their work. Uh, and at the, at, at the appropriate time, this will be made public. There will be more information being made public, whether it is through charges or whether it is just through the unsealing of the affidavit. But I trust the Justice Department to move forward. This, again, this is an, a consequential investigation. It's got to be done the right way and not just done in a way in which the public who has got all of their news at their fingertips and really wants the news yesterday right. um, demands. We, they've got to do it the right way. Well, you are right that the general impression up until now has been uh, that this is a Justice Department that's independent. It's played its cards very close to the vest. We've learned very little. But you now have Republicans in particular looking at this and saying, well, here you go, the Justice, the Justice Department, the justice system, in the words of House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, have been weaponized to go after uh, President Trump. How do, they, how do they disabuse critics that, that, of that being the case? They will do that uh, eventually with facts that will come out in, in this case, if it is the case. And I believe 
that the facts will merit what exactly what happened. You know, what's interesting, uh, Judy, is that the Repu it's the same Republicans who for the last few months uh, during the January 6th uh, committee investigation have just ignored all of the incredible, compelling evidence that has come out and instead said, let's look at inflation. Let's talk about gas prices. Now, all of a sudden, when things really, the heat really gets turned up, inflation doesn't seem to be a big issue anymore. All of a sudden, they want to weaponize what the Justice Department and the rule of, and following the rule of law is. Remember, and this is so important for folks to remember, this is not just the Justice Department. The Justice Department could not have executed this search warrant without the approval of a United States judge probably a, a district judge, not a magistrate, probably a district judge, a third branch of government. That's what the checks and balances of the Constitution provide for. So this is not a third world country. This is not a banana republic in which the president or the ruling party can just go in and conduct a raid. They have to go and present evidence of probable cause before a United States district judge, the third branch of government. So there's a lot difference, and they can talk about weaponizing all they want. But there was a judge at the end of the day, a judge who sat in judgment of what was being presented and said, there is enough evidence here that I'm going to authorize the search of this residence. Former U.S. Senator Doug Jones of Alabama, thank you. Thank you, Judy.